My YouTube channel's dying. What do I do? No! Let's get to the answer. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Dubs. This is the Dub S channel. This is my second channel. I have another channel, Dubs V. Uh, the Dubs V channel, thanks to you guys, a lot of luck. It's pretty successful. It has nearly 70,000 subscribers. Uh, this channel has nearly 30,000. And between the two channels, I was doing very well. I still am. I still am. But there are some things going on. And this channel, I'm watching it slowly. I feel like getting I feel like it's getting killed off and I know there's a lot of content creators out there who have been around, been in the game and they've seen this. It's an ebb and flow. It's an ebb, ebb and flow. And right now, you know, it's 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 a famine time, right? It, it, it's it's a ebb. Let me get make sure I get that right. And when you find yourself in that, and for especially for you new YouTube uh, content creators, you're going to find yourself, you know, in the beginning, it could take off. It could start slow. It's just the way YouTube does it. And that's what we got to understand. So with me, I took, I took a moment to pinpoint what happened. What happened to this channel where it's making half of what it was making? And I have to go back to three months ago, I decided to start a third channel. A lot of people ask me, why do you want a third channel? And, and mainly the big channel, the, the Dubs V channel, the Dubs channel, that was more my serious stuff, um, more life lessons, you can call them, more prison stories, stuff like that. This channel was my reaction channel, and it was on fire for a minute. I wanted to make the third channel to basically be a freestyle channel, to, to touch on things that I won't touch on on this channel or the big channel. And I got in, involved in discussing politics. <gasps> Religion and politics, what do they say? Avoid those two topics. But... I always say in my other channel, it isn't human nature to learn from others' mistakes. I disregarded that old saying. It's a saying and it's been around thousands of years for a reason. And here I came along. I had two successful channels. I can do it. No. And not only could I not do it, but it affected this channel. It so when you are monetized and you post a video to YouTube, you have to, you know, go through the, the checks to see if it's advertiser friendly. And you're going to get a rating from YouTube on how many times you're right when you check that box that, no, I didn't violate the, any of these things. And it's in I'm conforming with all of the guidelines. And if you if you put something that they feel is outside of their guidelines, they're not going to monetize it or they're going to limit your monetization and they keep track of how many times you do that and they make it harder for you to monetize the dubs channel i can I'm, I'm monetized like that every video this channel i will get monetized however they will limit my monetization and make me put a review and then they say, you know what, you're right, and they 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 turn it green. So it isn't the content, it's something else. It's the other channel. I'm being punished, and I understand it. So my advice to you would be this. Those of you starting a channel, those of you that have a channel and want to branch out, if you're going to get into anything controversial, if your livelihood depends on your YouTube paycheck, and you do not have sponsorships, get another job or just don't do it. Stick with what you've been doing. If it's working, don't break it. Don't tinker with it. 
refine it, make that better, but don't bring in other things that are controversial, especially during an election time. Listen to this guy. <laughs> I don't know at this point, those of you that are watching that enjoy the Dub S channel, I don't know that I'm going to continue that channel. I've been doing a lot of gaming over there, so I may just turn it into a strictly gaming channel. I don't know. There's still times when I want to go back and I want to get things off my chest and I, I utilize that channel for it. But maybe I just need to figure out how to get some sponsorships that are lucrative <laughs> and then just go that route and then be able to speak my mind on, 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 on various topics that you guys asked me about. But I really enjoy my Dub S channel. I super enjoy the Dubs channel. And I, I enjoy having to come up with something new every day. You know, after being on here over seven years now, it's not easy. Those of you that are, that may be struggling right now, let me tell you something. If you hit a rough patch, you need to ask yourself how important is your channel? If it's important, then you're going to sit down. You're going to pay attention. Look in your genre. Who's the most successful in your genre? What are they doing? What do their thumbnails look like? What do their titles look like? What are they top talking about? What can you add to that topic? Fake it till you make it, they say. But you're not really faking it. You're just putting your twist on someone else's topic. That's free game. Once, once I put this content out, somebody else can remake it and do way better. And you probably could because I probably only get a few thousand views. If you see on my, on my videos with the Dub S world, my first video, I had 5,000 views. I had 5,000 subscribers and I had 5,000 views. The latest video I put out had 1,000 views. And once before that, had hundreds of views. I'm not used to having hundreds of views. I have to take it with a grain of salt and understand that's on me. I may have spread myself too thin. And you see that when you see when that channel started, you'll see on my dub best world, on this channel itself. Three months ago. Look at the numbers I did. Look at the numbers I was doing. And then look at now. Look at what's happening now. So the advice that I would give to anyone whose channel is dying, figure out what's important to you. Is having a YouTube channel important to you? I believe it is important. If you're in it to try to grow, then you're going to have to put in a lot of work. If you're in it because you want to leave memories of yourself to your loved ones and to the world, um, then just keep doing what you're doing because that's a hobby and your hobby can be rewarding at times and it can be um, stressful at times, but it's a hobby. Me, I'm a full-time YouTuber. I really have to grind. I have to figure out what's going right, what's going wrong when it's going right. How did I do it? And let's do that again. And when it's going wrong, don't do that again. That's the same thing you got to do. So anyways, I don't want to keep going in circles and wasting your time. I just wanted to put out a, a video out today on this subject because I know there's a lot of people. When I look in my genre, I look around and I see numbers are down. Numbers are down for everybody. You got to identify where it's coming from. I have, I think, and I'm going to go from there. That said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out of here.